Hi guys, I'm Zaffy1, welcoming you back to Let's Play Legends of the Breath of the Wild on my channel. This is part 19. Okay, so, um, <laughs> I rewatched uh, part 18 and I was going talking about how I love the Mega Man music and how I was saying and that I didn't want to offend any big Mega Man fans, but should I say Mega Mega Man fans? That was a horrible joke, but, um, I personally think that, um, Dr. Wily's uh, stage one theme from Mega Man 2 is the most recognizable Mega Man song ever, like, I'm not gonna sing it, definitely not gonna sing it, but just search it up, I definitely won't leave a link in the description because <laughs> I, I shouldn't, <laughs> just look it up if you want to, but it's really, really good, and there are a lot of covers of it, and you can just tell how it's one of the most popular ones if there's so many remixes of it, and if... If lots of people like know that one specifically, other than others, there are a couple of really good ones as well. Not even a couple, a lot of really good ones. Okay, I don't know why I did that. I guess I just had to move around while I was talking to you guys. So I just wanted to point that out. So, the last video we went in this shrine, got our ass handed to us like five or four times from a guardian scout. I was actually gonna check the name of it but then I forgot before I recorded. This is uh this is a video that I wasn't thinking about recording until after lunch, but I'm gonna do this one and then I'm gonna have lunch and then do one more and then finish. And it's still May twelfth, so Yeah, I'm gonna up I, I like to upload one video per day, but I like to record a crap ton and then like because 'cause I'm definitely not for the views, I'm definitely for the experience. But like I like to have a lot in the bank in case I don't record because I have to go to school of course on weekdays and it's Saturday right now for me here in uh, Australia so yeah. I think I already told you this but yes I am Australian and I don't know why I did that so here is the tough part how the bloody hell are we gonna get out of here up there is the Great Plateau and then you got this and Hmm, should I climb it or should I just go back to the Shrine of Resurrection, get a Korok Seed, and then move on? Um, well we got like, we got like 12 minutes, uh, I think we'll make it up. Well, not like, I know we'll make it up, but we'll probably die. Oh crap, I forgot to save again. Let's fix that. Don't save, don't save. Oh, I should I should save after I've seen everything's fine, not while I'm recording, because I could always stuff up that one and then go, God damn it! Okay. Hmm. I've always wondered how Link can um just walk around with his bare feet on like stones. And grass and like walk with no shoes like when you do the naked run because trust me if you walk on gravel or stones and rocks with your bare feet it hurts like hell I don't know how we can do it but sometimes it kind of looks like his um his uh, walking animation kind of looks like his feet are floating when you don't have any shoes on and I'm going to die uh, do I have any stamina food? I didn't think so. Crap. Uh, oh, I don't know why I did that. Please, 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 please. Glide. Thank God for the paraglide. Oh, crap. And I drowned. God damn it. And I lost a heart. That's not very nice. Is that what you want to hear? Uh, I'm not going to give another go. I can't make it. I'm just going to let's go here. Yeah, but anyway, what I was saying, I'll give you an example soon, but, like, when it walk, when you're walking with Link with no shoes or anything, it looks like he's floating, and I think that's because the most of the game, you have shoes on, and the developers, like, made it look so it's actually touching the ground when you have shoes on, I'll give you an example, but, um, yeah, when he doesn't have shoes, it kind of looks like he's floating, like, it really does, his legs are floating, which is something interesting. Like, I'll show you, hopefully you can see it from the camera angle, 
of me. You see, it looks like he's floating. It honestly does. Oh, wait, let's just get off here. Let's walk in. It looks like he's floating. It's not the camera angle it does it. It honestly looks like he's floating. But then, you probably, hopefully you can see the difference, but if I were to put on, uh, let's put on pants. Yes, I know, I ruined the no naked challenge thing, but it doesn't matter because this doesn't count. So, it looks like he's honestly walking on, and then I'll give you another example of Moth. It looks like he's flying. It looks like he's floating, you know. So, another reason why I wanted to come back here is because at last time when I tried to do this, I was like, oh, yeah, you can get it now. Nah, you have to actually get the paraglider and uh, get the cutscene with the king. Or should I say the old man? Well, it's the king, obviously, but, yeah, it's the old man before. And you come back here and you click examine to where you... Yeah, ha, you found me. I'm not going to read that. I've already read that before. Bye-bye. Um, yeah, but if you come back to where you started the game when you when you wake up, you get a Quarrel Seed, which is pretty cool, and I like that spot. So now we have to do this all over again. Anymore. But recently, Nintendo have uh, uh, announced when the online mode is coming out, the online paid service for Nintendo Switch, and they said it's coming out September this year. And, um, I personally think that it's a pretty small part price for a year, and I think that's really good. So I'm probably going to get it, plus also I like to do online, even though I don't have any online games yet. But, yeah. And also, um, you're going to get some, I don't know if it's like you get to rent them, but like, uh, you're going to get to play some classic N NES games, anytime, anywhere, <laughs> is the exact words it says. I'll get him. I'll get him another one. Yep. And I go. He's not dead. Wow, that is a really funny angle. I take a photo. There we go. If you notice, uh, we've high tail lizards when you kill them. The next flop a bit. Yeah, see how it did a little twitch? Yeah. He's not dead, but yeah. That's actually the easiest way to get high tail lizard. Because they're really sneaky. And f I mean, you have to be really sneaky. And they're really fast. Okay. Another tick, well not tick, um, but another habit I do when I play this game is, as you may notice, I sometimes get my weapon out and like put it back in my shield over and over again. Because sometimes I just like to do that, and also sometimes I get my bow out just to take my much arrows and like go like this and then put it back for no reason. And yeah, I will be doing that, and hopefully I can break that habit, but I've been doing it since the game came out, so... Yeah, about more than a so more like more than a year I've been doing that, so it's gonna be hard to break, but hopefully I can. Okay. What would be really cool would be like for people who don't get the Mega Man uh, Legacy Collection on the Switch, if they get the pay service and one of the next games or some of the next games are some Mega Man, that would be pretty cool. But also like, what if someone's like too young to? get enough money to get it and then they just get the thing to get instead of getting a legacy collection they pay like because you have to get two if you want to get two of them it's like I think like 50 Australian bucks maybe 45 Australian bucks but if you were like to get the paid service I think it's like 26 dollars so yeah it'd be pretty cool but yeah that's that's my that's my input on it like I like to what I like to do before I record is I like to like what rewatch the videos, see if I miss anything of what I said, which is what I did with the Mega Man and Dr. Wily thing. And then I like to bring up like some relevant events at the time and some um questions and opinions I wanna know from you guys in the comments if you below or just to think about in general even if you don't leave a comment because if you leave a comment you'll make me really happy but if you don't and you just still think about leaving a comment but then don't do it again, that's fine. It makes me glad that you still respect that. That was a really weird thing to get into, but still, yeah. I don't know where the bloody hell I'm going. Yeah, I should be able to make that, yeah. <sighs> okay. Which way was I going again? Oh, yeah. So, oh, should we go to Mount Satori? Uh, should we? Oh, 
Yeah, I think we should. I think we should. There we go. Oops, that's the wrong one. No. That one. There we go. <sighs> okay. And I, I already pointed this out, but another thing you guys may notice is I didn't say it. Oh, it's fine. Um, um, when I'm talking to you guys individually, I still like to, like, move Link around. And, like, um, like, talk to you, but I still like to actually play the game, even if I'm not doing anything, because I get so much dopamine from playing this game, and it's a pretty dope game, so that was a really bad joke. I make a lot of bad jokes, as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel for a little bit. Oops, my dog just jumped off the bed. Hopefully he doesn't interrupt the recording. And if he does, then damn. Okay, with some running. Oh, there's a stable here. Um, there should be a shrine up here, I believe. Or near here, I should say. We might get it. Um, the Colosseum is right there. We're way too early in the game to the Colosseum. Where the hell's the shrine? Um. Oh, there! Wow, it was just there. Right there. Ooh, the time. Hmm. I think we'll enter the shrine. Okay. What's the name of the shrine? Okay. It's called. Rota O Shrine. Um. I wrote. I wrote an obituary. Oh my god, that's so dark. Yeah, because Rota, oh, well. Or Rotom from Pokemon, I guess you could say that. But it's not Rota, so. Yeah. Sometimes I'm not very good when it comes to recording, but that happens to everyone now and then, I hope. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what to say. Passing at the gates. Um... Oh no, not this one. Hmm. Nah, I think I might end the video this one. I don't know if it takes me a long time, but I've actually forgot how to do this one specifically, so. Yeah, I think I'll end it here at 12 minutes and 35 seconds. Well, not end it now, but that's where I'm saying I'm gonna end it. Because, yeah, so. My name is Zaffy1. Hope you enjoyed the video of Let's Play Legends of Breath of the Wild Part 19. I can't believe we're already at 19, guys. So, see ya. Bye. Have a good night.